Welcome everyone. My name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artista, and this is recorded over on Ustream. Uh, it's a recording of a live show. So I am talking to my friends here, and um, I would love you to come join us on Wednesday and Saturday nights as well. So this this video is, a, is a, going to be about a haul. Uh, my wonderful friend Carrie, who's I Carrie Love, came to Toronto. We went downtown and froze our butts off. So we went to uh, Korea, Korea town, because um, I did, did some. There goes Bella. I had did some research about where we could find uh, kawaii stuff. I'm probably totally butchering that pronunciation. I apologize. You know, like Japanese and Korean stationery. So we went there. We also went to an art store called Madoko. Uh, we went to we went to a couple of those um, you know, stationery shops. And then we went, came back to where I live over in Whippy and went to Michael's Curry's. Michael's and Curry's. So we had a good time. So I'm going to show a little bit of the haul. So first, so I can get this bad boy off my desk. I saw this before Christmas. And um, on, on Amazon, I don't know how I remember, I don't remember how I found it. But uh, it's like $30 over on Amazon or $25 or something. But they didn't have free shipping to Canada. So I talked myself out of it, right? Because $30 shipping, $30 for a book, like that's ridiculous. I can't spend $80 on, on a sketchbook or a journal. So when Terry and I went to Madoko, which is an art store downtown, um, downtown Toronto, they actually had it. And I was, you know... Our wonderful friend Didi, who is Inkwell, I-N-K-W-E-L-L, -L, here, over here on Ustream, um, uses hers all the time, which is, you know, which made me <laughs> kick myself for not getting it back in December. But I'm, I'm happy that I waited because uh, I was able to find it at Madoko for $29.99 Canadian, and, uh, and I didn't have to pay any shipping. You guys in the U.S. are very lucky because you can get it with free shipping and... Uh, no problem. But this bad boy is like eight pounds or something. Like it's heavy, 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 like very heavy. Like I could do exercises with some of this stuff. This is heavier. Where's Colleen? Is Colleen here? <laughs> she wants recording. This is heavier than the weights that Colleen lifts. <laughs> That's just a, a joke between me and Colleen. Uh, anyway, it's heavy. It, it is, um, I told our wonderful friend Vicky earlier that it was 70 pound paper, but it's actually 75. And it's ginormous. It really is. Like, it's it's a tomb. It's a tomb. But I absolutely love what Dee Dee's doing in hers. She's doing a whole bunch of animals. If you haven't seen it, you got to go check it out. Check her out at Dee Dee Willingham over on YouTube. Because um, there's lots of times where she'll do full streams of how she's drawing her animals in here, as well as some, um, you know flip through. So the only thing I've done so far, it's got 300 pages double side, which is, hey Janet, 600. I hope I said hello to Anita. Oh there, there's Colleen. <laughs> um, it is heavy. Even Simon liked it. Simon's like, oh, I want to get me one of those. So I'm just glad I didn't have to pay shipping and it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. Uh, it'll be fun to see my progression, you know, when you have one book that has 600 pages in it, it sure will be fun to see however many years, uh, you know, it'll take a couple of years. Even if I did one page a day, you know, that's almost two years, right? So um, it'll be cool to see the progression over however long it takes me to fill it from start to, to finish here. So I, I don't know. Uh, Teresa just asked what I'm going to do with mine. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to sketch. I don't think... Um, I'm not as uh, wonderfully prolific as Dee Dee, so uh, I don't think I'll have a specific theme, but probably uh, I'll definitely want to do some mixed media, but I'm not going to add any paper. Like, you know how I add a whole bunch of scrapbook paper? I'm not going to do too much of that because this book can quickly get out of hand, right? Quickly get out of hand. Um, filled in 30 days. Sweet goodness. 30 divided by 600 is way too much. <laughs> oh, Colleen got one too? It, I mean, it is heavy, heavy. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I try to do something. I really want. And the paper feels nice. Dee Dee was, Dee Dee was right. Um, 
I mean, it's really cool. I, I, I really like it. I'm very happy that I that I bought it and it was I didn't have to pay double for shipping. Hey, Bren. Hey, Cindy. It is uh contains 600 pages, 300 sheets of blank, 75 pound, 110 GSM acid free paper. It has a little bit of, excuse me, let's drink some coffee. It has a little bit of tooth. It has a little bit of tooth to it. But any, like, I, I have all these books. Like, I recently got Danny Gregory's, um, oh, I left it out there. Thanks to my mother, who had bought the, the book a little while ago and then um, just gifted it to me. Danny Gregory's uh, Art Before Breakfast. You know, things like that that, that I'm practicing you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to leave it up to just finish like fancy things, right? Like I'm, I'm going to try to do a lot here, but my problem is, so I said, I got one problem with this book. Uh, there's not much room on the desk for it. Like it takes up all of my working room. Look, it's, it's, it's more than my working space allows. Um, well, I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I want to, uh, or I've told you guys more than once that I want to rearrange what's around me on my desk anyway. So, wow. It's a tomb. Tomb. They had lots of them there. So, uh, so anyways, it, it's heavy. It's heavy. And it's not one that, you know, this isn't one that you take to coffee shops, although you might get a few looks. <laughs> you might, but this, this bad boy is heavy. I, we bought it. That was the first store we went into. I lied. Second. And I mean, I was carrying it around for hours um, after that. All right, so anyways, that's the very big sketchbook. So I, I looked at everything and I put everything out, so forgive me if everything's all mixed up. I'll try to, uh, I'll try to, I don't know what I'll try to do. It may be all mixed up. So we went to a couple stores. First time we went to Mr. Penn, uh, it wasn't open yet. It was 22 minutes after the time they were supposed to be open and it wasn't open. Um... Hey, Sandy Beach. And uh, so that was disappointment. So we went to a couple of other stores first and then came back and they were finally open. But that Mr. Penn, which is on uh, Bloor Street in Koreatown in Toronto, uh, they actually had really good prices. Really, really good prices. I was surprised. The other two stores were a little bit um, more expensive. Uh, this store had some pretty good prices and a lot more pens. So I bought this pen roll. I don't know, it's got, it does have some embossing there. It's so hard to see. Maybe later on once it gets scuffed up. I don't think this is real leather because it cost $8. $7.99. And, uh, and so I bought a couple of pens. So, you know, the pens from like a Korean and Japanese pens are like tiny, fine, fine points. So I got a couple of gel pens. This one's called... D-O-N-G-A, I'm not going to say that out loud, Fine Tech, and it's point, it's 0 0.3, uh, this happens to be a pink one, and, and it is, I mean, if I wrote, where's a piece of paper, like, it is fine, you can't you won't even be able to see that, like, it is, it is, uh, really, really, Thin. You won't be. I don't know why I'm even bothering. So you won't be able to see it. So I bought a couple of those uh, colors. I think these pens were three dollars each or three fifty. They're gel, gel pens. But so far they're working awesome. I bought a teal, because, and uh, like a magenta and this funny orangish, orangish pinkish. But I mean they had I don't know like twenty colors. I mean it was just brutal. Um. Then they had, I mean, they just had so many pens. That store was so overwhelming, overwhelming. Too much stuff to look at. I also bought a uh, one of those multi pens. This one has four colors: orange, green, blue, and black. It shows brown, but I think it's black. And this is also a point zero point um, five. This one's called Miffy. Miffy. There's like some bunnies on it. But again, it's a very fine point pen. You know, these are the ones I'd be writing with in my Midori, like in my planner. It's not so good, you know. I mean, don't even attempt to write over paint with these bad boys. 
These are just kind of for doodling on blank pages or writing or whatnot. And then I bought this paint pen. I I thought it had a Bella on it. I know it's hard to see, but it's actually a I think it's a sheep. It's called Wood Story. They did have some funny type of names on stuff. This is a point three five millimeter um, pen. I don't. I'm not going to test it. So this pen was like three fifty, and then for three dollars they had refills. So which are cute. Like they even print the refills, print on the patterns on the refills, even though they go inside the pen. So for three dollars I got another six. So that should last me my whole life. I got six things there and then I just bought a cute little you know another cat one but again it's 0.38 millimeter tiny tiny like can't even see how much of a needle that though that is like I think 0.5 was the smallest was the largest tip of a pen that they had so I like this little pen roll I thought it, it matches my Midori I'm like I said I'm pretty sure it's not real leather but it was fun it's a little wrap and it came with some charms. It's got some uh, feather and some leaves. A bone pen. You know, and then they had, yeah, they had like mechanical pencils that had real thick leads. It, it was interesting. I didn't get one of, like I said, it was so overwhelming. They had highlighters and erasers and. Uh, Oh yeah, they very they're definitely very meticulous. We just barely started Jean. All I showed was my ginormous uh, uh, gigantic sketchbook that you've seen the wonderful Miss Dee Dee use lots of times, so didn't miss anything much of that. Alright, so I got some cool oh we went to Michael's. I bought some elastics for some full Midoris. The first store we went to was a little expensive. I didn't buy too much, and uh, but I did buy some. Find some tape. Now these tapes, I actually saw on Etsy, and uh, so this is glass tape. Glass tape. Monday. It's got the days of the week on it, and some pen nibs. You know how much I love pens and pen nibs, so I had to get that. So when they say glass tape, so this is like Scotch tape, clear Scotch tape with white printing on it. And there's a lot. This was seven ninety five, and it it's two two thousand centimeters, which is two meters, two meters, yeah, two meters. Bella, do you hear that? There's something crazy being ripped out. In the, hold on, hold the fort, my friends. Excuse me for a second. Pause. I hope she's not chewing. Who knows what Bella's chewing on? She's. Uh, I think she's. Uh, I'm mad that I'm streaming right now and Simon's in the shower all right hold on <sighs> what are you doing oh my goodness she was about Let's hope that lasts. She was chewing on a milk. I don't even know how she got it off the shelf. On a milk bone box. Oh my goodness. She she is crafty. I think they work together. Asha can jump up and get, get things. And then Bella rips it all up. And then Asha chews on it. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. 20 meters. Yeah, Jean. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm like two meters. That can't be right. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. So like I said, I've seen these on Etsy in washi tape shops. So I was, uh, you know, for around the same price. So I was, I was happy, happy to find that. So obviously you can't see, but it's this print. And this is by a company called Daily Like, all one word, made in Korea. And then this is the masking tape or the washi tape one. Um, again, pen nibs and then this numbers. Boy, I'm off with the math game today. Let's see. Oh, one of the favorite things I found. One of my favorite things are these Eiffel Tower clips. Now, these are metal. 
That's what the packaging looks like. These were seven dollars, six ninety nine. These are from Mr. Penn, and uh, they're metal. See how big they are? That's what I was saying, Jim. Like two meters. I can't be right. <laughs> so, and they're bulldog clips. So three for six ninety nine. Went, well, that's too wide. Let's see, it'll clip on like that. How fun are they? They even got a little watch on them. I don't know if it'll show. So I had to get those. I had to get some little Eiffel Towers. I'm sure Miko, I mean, Chicago is three times the size of Toronto. They have, I mean, I know Toronto's considered probably the most, multi, or it used to be the most multicultural city in the world. But I don't know if it is now. All right. So I bought a couple plenary type things. I bought some, these are sticker marker to do's. Some kitties and some puppies. <laughs> and as you can see at the top, like it's got the lines, little checkbox. And they're sticky flags. This was uh, this one was two ninety nine Canadian. So the little little kitty and doggy sticky tags. <laughs> so they have such I mean such cute stuff in those type of stores, right? And I also got flags, paw print, sticky flags. This was two fifty nine. This one comes with uh, fifteen times eight. Eight flags, eight designs times fifteen. I love how things get lost in translation on these stuff. Sticker marker, peep out. Composure creates time to the full. Period. Something lost in translation there. So, anyways, that was fun. And then I found these tiny, I, I don't remember how, how much these are. They're little paper clips. Oh, glare. Can you kind of see them? Maybe not. So They're little, maybe if I open one up. They're metal. Tiny metal things. They're called cat book line marker. So you take it out. Try not to cut myself. I need some cut resistant gloves on these bad boys. There we go. So it's a tiny page marker. This little cat says happy. Like tiny, tiny. Maybe if I put it on something, it might be easier. So then it just sticks on your page like this. Hold on. It says happy. And I can't read it. Tiny little guys. So that was too cute. I'm gonna put that back thing in there. Like I said, they I wouldn't imagine those are more than three dollars. They're probably two something as well. A Madoko, which is an art store, I bought these little matchbooks and gave two to carry. They're uh little post-it notes. Oh, oh glare. They're yellow post-it notes. Yellow post-it notes. Uh in a matchbox. Little matchbook. So that was just cute. Cute, cute. I'm trying. I'm trying to hurry. Oh, at Michael's, I don't know if any. So the only thing I bought at Michael's were those elastics for some Fomadori's, and these are called canvas labels. Have you guys seen these? This line. So Michael's did have twenty percent off your entire purchase coupon all week, and I love these. So they were three dollars Canadian. I don't know how much they are even there in the U.S. I mean, they were a little bit cheaper because it was 20% off. But these are awesome. They're just little canvas thingy doos. But look, like this one says 30 days. But they've got different little things on them. And they had a couple different packages. I'm going to just mix them all, anyways. Um, little things I, you just staple in with your tiny attacher. This one had Paris on it. 
luggage. And of course, that's why Carrie went crazy. So they're cute, these little things. Probably, like I said, and probably cheaper in the U.S. They're, they're actually made out of canvas. One thing I saw that was strange at Michael's yesterday, there was a whole big brand new display of denim products. Like they had um, a canvas board. Instead of canvas, it was, it was denim. Or panels, uh, canvas panels that were denim. I thought it was kind of strange, but maybe that's the trend. Maybe that's the trend. Um, Amadoko, oh, no, at that other store, look at this book. At Mr. Penn. Hey, Martha. So this is Eiffel Tower, Paris, France. On the back, um, I can't even tell you what's all in Korean. Uh, so this little book was $2 Canadian. $2. And why I like it, it's got different... It's got some dots, it's got blank pages, it's got lines going the wrong way, more blank pages, the tiniest grid you've ever you ever did see. Probably can't even see it, it's so tiny. So it was a fun little printed book. If I knew it didn't have a price on it, if I knew if it was two dollars, I would have got more than one. It's just bound with this um, like a fake um, leather cording. That was a weird denim section. Anyway, so that was fun. In that store, I also got... This is called a green grass, the essence of life uh, key ring. And I, and I don't understand because it says essence of life, green grass. But it has a picture of the Marc de Triomphe. I can't even pronounce it. But, you know, it's got Paris imagery. And then it says, green grass, the essence of light. Yeah, I'm going to take some, all the, uh, tomorrow, Carrie, when I have some good light, now that I've showed everybody, yeah, I'm going to lay out a piece of black or white paper or something here and take some nice pictures so that you can see the detail for sure. Yeah, thanks, Carrie. So, I didn't quite understand that, uh, but why I bought this, see, it's got a, it's got one of these claw things. And a fake leather band. It's got a couple couple of clips to add some other stuff on it. And uh, then it has a little charm. A little charm here at the Eiffel Tower. And what I thought was interesting, because they don't really go together, but I love them both, <laughs> is uh, one, of those, one of those hands. I don't, when I think of Paris, I don't think of this. Like, when I think of this, I think, you know, Tibet, India, the Asian countries, you know, Buddhism type stuff, or, you know. So, I thought that was cool. Still. So, this thing, you can hang it on your purse or something. I'm not sure what. I wouldn't use it on my keys, I don't think, because I think I wouldn't want to lose some of these charms. But this little thing was, uh, I think $8.99. I took the plastic off. $6.99 or $8.99. I forget. I forget. Uh, when we went to Curry's, I didn't buy too much. All I bought was a new Koi water brush. And they look like this when you buy them. This is the number 8 round large. And with the long tank. Because you can buy smaller ones, you know, that go in their little, uh, you know, travel sets and whatever. But when it's all full, or when it's out... So this was only five dollars at Curry's, but I needed one that had a bigger, bigger brush tip. Um, which makes me wonder. I'm gonna compare it to the Derwent. They're pretty. So it's a little bit bigger than the Derwent one. This is Der well, you can see Derwent and. So I'll play around with those water brushes. See if I find any difference between Derwent and Sakura. Too much stuff at uh, at Madoko, which is the art store. They was, they sold Sharpie brush markers singly, so I I picked up another black one because I do use these Sharpie brushes a lot. I bought at Madoko, which is the art store, two new colors of F and W inks by Daler Rowney. There's no and. I don't know why I say and. It's F W 
inks. Um, and uh, it's yellow. Let's see what color does it say. Process yellow and process cyan or process yellow and process cyan. Depending on where you are. <laughs> and uh, oh, I found the tiniest, thinnest um, sticky flags ever. Like they are thin, 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 like quarter of an inch. Yeah, quarter of an inch, tiny, tiny flag. So that was fun. Hey, Karen. And uh, oh, I bought some little stamps at that first store we went to. I bought a couple of stamps. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. One says, which I need to do more of, they're little diary stamps. Can you see that? It says cleaning. And there's a little girl with a broom. I know. My autofocus is off or else we'd be zooming in and out and making everybody making everybody sick. Can you tell? No, it's just a little girl that says cleaning. And then this one has a light bulb with a smile that says new idea. Hey, Kelly. <clears throat> so these little bad boys, like I said, that first story we went into, I don't remember the name. Um, these are called Funny Man. Funny Man stamps. I don't know who Funny Man is, but they're Korean. So I think they were three fifty dollars each or something. So I really... Uh, Hi, Malu. I really controlled myself there. But I thought, okay, what's really important in my life? My need to clean or the lack of cleaning. So I remind myself to do that. And new ideas. The document, you know, writing my ideas down. Right, Didi? So uh, new idea and cleaning. I thought that was cute. And uh, that's all I bought. Right? I think so. Bag is empty. So I stayed on budget. I stayed on budget. I got some cool things, I think. A couple things I needed. A couple cool things. And I could have spent a fortune there. But I, I was very um, reserved, that's for sure. Hi, Bren. So I also got a little gifty from Carrie. She made a faux dory. Let's see if I can put this out here. This is like a little pocket holder. The Carrie made from hey Darcy the Carrie made out of uh, I don't know if this is chipboard or what file folders I mean so you see the file folder there and it's got a couple pockets and inside and this is all paper and she's she's covered it with that um, varnish that Dee Dee uses the Delta Ceram coat is it called and some cool tagage some jelly printed tags this is cool this is the one that she did with the packing tape off the jelly plate how pretty is that hey Julie so I just love Carrie's jelly plated stuff and a whole bunch of flag tags in that pocket so this can fit in a faux dory right you can actually make it a faux dory she had it at one point. I can put an elastic on this bad boy and put a moly in there. Uh, I did have one close. It could just be a cover for a regular moly or some such thing. And then this side, you know, our wonderful friend Carrie and um, tissue paper. It's got tissue paper in there. And look how cute this is. I have no idea where this is from. Hey, Cheryl. It's got number in their brads. I've never seen these before. Number brads. And then this uh, tiny little notepad, which just has a couple notes and then a date. They're not sticky notes, but, you know, you can just tape them down or whatever. So that's cute. 1 to 20. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it better be so it's got to be something special. It's got to be something special. And then I got some, uh, can never have enough dictionary paper, some more cool tissue paper. This one has Eiffel Tower on it. Carrie said that this is from Michaels, right? This is the Michaels one. Oh, it's a Smash product. Oh, really? I didn't know that. 
those brads is, is from Smash. So a whole bunch of cool tissue papers. Tissue tissue, which we love. Look how nice this one is. Love the black and white. <clears throat> yeah, and we went we went to uh, a Korean restaurant for lunch. Thank you, Jamie, if you're watching. And um or if you can hear me, I should say. And I ate. I tried it. I tried the sushi. I'm not a big fan of sushi. I just, I, it, the fishy taste, it's just not my thing. Um, but I tried it. I swallowed it. It was hard to swallow, but I did. Um, <laughs> but I also had some delicious other stuff. I, I got a bento box. I actually took a picture, but I don't have it close to me. So thank you, Carrie, for the goodies. That was very nice. And uh, what time we got already? 7.34, so that's pretty good. I'm on time. I'm right on time. Alright, so I'm going to stop the recording. Hold on a second and we'll start a new one.